Brad was right. All right. So we have Wayfair was uh, brought to Stockwatch Sunday last week. Uh, estimated earnings per share were at 48 cents. I said that they were crushed those earnings, and I really can't tell you what these analysts are smoking. 48 cents? What are they smoking? 48 cents is what they uh, estimated earnings per share were going to come in. Uh, they crushed earnings with a whopping $3.13 per share actual earnings. That is insane. Uh, they skyrocketed from 266 as of this past stock watch Sunday and went all the way up to 320. Oh, no. There we go. Well, went all the way up to $323 a share as of this past Friday at the close. Um, absolutely incredible. So, um, Elias, welcome to the chaos crew, man. Um, so that is Wayfair. I hope you guys were able to get in on that one and make some serious cash. What a mover. Uh, next one's going to be Square. I was right about Square. Estimated earnings per share were 23. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, for a loss of 23 cents per share. That was their estimated earnings per share. I just don't understand what, where the logic is here. I mean, are, are they not seeing what we're seeing or what, are they not seeing uh, what the chaos is seeing here? Uh, they came in with uh, actual earnings per share on surprise earnings a day early because uh, their, their uh, earnings got leaked. So they were forced to put out earnings uh, at seven o'clock at night Eastern time, which was an hour before after hours er, uh, trading closed. Came in at 18 cents a share. This stock went absolutely bonkers. Last stock watch Sunday was sitting at $129, and then after earnings shot all the way up to $158 highs on those earnings calls. I still like this as a hold. If you've been holding on to Square, if you've been taking some profit, good on you. I mean, I'm, taking profit never hurt anybody. So, um, uh, But I still think this is a really good solid hold. Square's going places, in my opinion. I've loved Square for, I mean... Ever since all this happened, right? Ever since the crash, Square's been on my radar. Square, PayPal, they've I, like I've always said, one and one A, they're the same. If you want one or the other, Square's obviously the cheaper option for right now, but they're both going up, in my opinion. Etsy, I mean, what else can I say? They came in and uh, estimated earnings were 41 cents per share. I said they were going to beat those. Came in at 75 cents per share. Now, I have loved this thing ever since I brought it to you guys in the $70 range. Um, uh, if you were part of the chaos crew, you would know that, uh, but nevertheless, uh, Etsy skyrocketed from $118 a share this past stock watch Sunday, all the way up to $138 a share. And I think that Etsy continues to go here. If you guys were able to grab the dip on that this past week, uh, you probably will be just fine. And, um, this is a little bit interesting for me, but I'm going to go ahead and say when Brad was wrong, I was wrong. Kind of. On Fastly, estimated earnings per share were at a loss of six cents. Uh, they came in positive on the quarter for two cents a share. I said that would happen. I said that would be positive this quarter. But it also came out that TikTok is their largest client, and the stock team came down from one hundred seventeen dollars back down to seventy nine dollars thirty three cents a share. Um, I got two things to say about that. First of all, oh my God, who the hell? cash <laughs> and second of all chill out i've had so many people con like send me con like it's as if fastly was the only thing that people were holding look i brought fastly to you guys um back at 34 dollars a share i still feel very strongly about fastly this is the, the catch 22 when earnings beat but then there's also bad news that comes out with it here's the thing I like Fastly a lot. It's not going anywhere. Yes, it's worth buying on the dip. They've got a lot going on. We're going to talk about that later in the show because uh, Fastly is on the top five stocks that I'm watching this week yet again, and you will get another shot at Fastly, in my opinion. Uh, but next is going to be Twilio. Twilio, sorry. I always say Twilio. Uh, Twilio, uh, ticker symbol TWLO. Estimated earnings per share with a loss of 48 cents. I said that they would beat those earnings and that they would actually be cash positive. Turns out they were. Came out $0.09 cents per share, as I stated. I see the um, uh, stock did drop, but I think it's worth adding on to the dip once we finally see this thing turn around. It's had about three red days in a row, and I think that once people start realizing that this vaccine is still going to take us longer and people are still working from home, and it's only, it's only getting bigger, okay? Even if there is a vaccine, Remote work is here to stay, and it's only going to grow in demand. And, and tickers like Twilio and Fastly and all the other remote stocks that we've covered on this channel time and again at nauseum, they are still going to be here, and they're still going to continue to grow. So that being said, I don't mean to bust on you guys on Fastly. I really don't. It's just one of those things where it's like, let's, let's all take a breather, folks. We're all about owning the chaos, not creating it, right? Yeah.